So what is a taxonomic aid? You know, when you actually categorize animals, classify animals, the most important thing uh, you need to know is, you need to have the information somewhere, right? So the taxonomical aids are nothing but, uh, you know, preserved information. They preserve the information about the animals or about the plants and also preserve some specimens so that when you want to classify something, a new species, you can refer to that information. So, the, those uh, procedures and techniques are known as taxonomical aids. So, what are the taxonomical aids? Let us look at different uh, taxonomical aids. The, especially in plants, the most used taxonomical aid is herbarium. Okay. Herbarium, I am sure you would have heard about this. Herbarium is nothing but you know, you take uh, the plant with, uh, you know, with uh, whatever specific features with the flower and dry it and then uh, dry it and then you have to add preservatives to it, press it, right. So, it looks like this, you can see here. So, the pressed plant, preserved plant is taken and it is mounted on a big white sheet and all the information about that particular plant has to be explained there. Can you see there? So, it will be explained very well about its characteristics, its, its binomial nomenclature, its local name and also when and where it was found or where it was done. So, the whole information has to be provided in that particular sheet, it is known as herbarium sheet. So, like these sheets, all the sheets will be uh, preserved by adding chemicals and other things and they are very much available. Uh, in herbariums. You go to herbariums, you will see in the, the next part of the you know slide it shows you that picture, uh, where you can see very clearly there is a, there are people who are working on herbarium, right. So, this is that herbarium where they take each sheet, they will be put in drawers they and labeled very well. So, you have to go and look for uh, whatever uh, group you are looking for. So, this is a very useful aid. Uh, in uh, uh, classifying the plants and apart from that, uh, apart from herbarium, right, so there are many others like for example, uh, museums, I am sure you would have visited a museum, it is also a taxonomical aid. So, what they do in museums, they take uh, the, uh, the, not the living animals uh, or living plants, they take only the dead animals, they, they either uh, use the skeleton to show or they actually stuff the animal and then show it or they preserve it in a chemical and then they put it for exhibition. So, museums and they label it. So, this will ensure that you know it, be, it acts as a taxonomical aid. So, somebody want to classify something, this they can go and refer to the specialized uh, museums, right. So, that is one. And then apart from that, there are things like, uh, by, uh, you know, uh, I am sure you would have heard about botanical gardens, right, or botanical parks or zoos, zoological gardens or zoological parks. So, all these two are also taxonomical aid. So, botanical gardens, uh, where what they do there, they grew plants there uh, and then they label them. So, every plant you go to botanical garden, any time you would have gone, you will see that the plant which is growing there will be labeled very clearly with all the genus name, species name, similar to zoo. I am sure you would have visited zoo also, right. So, uh, they, they in zoo, they try to, you know, provide as much uh, natural habitat as possible, but all the animals in the zoo are under human care, you know, though they try to give it natural environment, it is just not possible to give, so they are under human care. So, you will see the labels very well, so that will act as a, uh, you know, taxonomical aid. For example, there is uh, uh, one biggest botanical garden is Royal Botanical Garden at Kew, right, that is one of the famous one. In India, we have in Calcutta. It is called Indian Botanical Garden uh, and then apart from that, uh, you know, we also have uh, uh, another one at Lucknow, correct. So, Indian, Indian Botanical Research Institutes. So, th that is very popular for, uh, you know, uh, they have a lot of species of living uh, plants growing in those gardens, right. So, this is, these are also botanical gardens and zoos also act as, uh, you know, our uh, taxonomical aids. And, um, Apart from that, uh, you know, uh, there is one more thing which you must know, which is known as taxonomic key. So, what is a key? Say, for example, key is provided by the uh, scientists for us to 
classify the organism uh, into a particular group. So, there is uh, one thing called as uh, uh, dichotomous key. Dichotomous key is uh, th that is they will have a couple of sentences and uh, you need to see which one it matches. You have an organism to classify, they will ask a couple of questions, they are called as couplets. Okay. In a taxonomic key which helps in classifying, uh, so they will have a, uh, a couple of sentences together, they are called as a couplet. So, couplet uh, will have two sentences which are of contrasting characters. For example, the flower is red, the flower is white. So, you have to see, okay, flower is red, no, okay, the flower is white. So, tick. So, then the next thing will come. So, flower is white, then go to uh, some other point. So, this is known as uh, key, right. So, each sentence in the couplet is called as a lead. So, it leads us to uh, the next sentence, right. So, it is called as a lead. In fact, there are, uh, you can see here, you know, there are simple couplets given here seed round soya beans if seeds are not round if they are oblong in shape then go to two so then you have to check whether seed is white or seed is black if seed is white then it is northern bee if uh, uh, northern beans if the seed is black it is black beans so like that you know these are called as couplets the and the key is called dichotomous key because they have two sentences so in fact there are two types of dichotomous keys uh, one is called a bracketed key And then uh, there is one more called indented key. Okay. In simple terms, bracketed key is, you know, the couplets will be close together. Like the, the one you see here is a bracketed key, seed round or seed oblong. So, they are talking about the contrasting features of the same character. So, that seed, seed shape here, right. So, together they will be, then it is called as a bracketed key. If you look at in the indented key, it is a little bit different as you can see in this uh, next slide. So, indented key what you see here is uh, the couplets will not be together. You can see the flower in the shades of red is separated from the flowers in the shade of pink. So, in between the red and uh, pink, uh, in between the two co contrasting characters, in between the couplets, you will see some more features together. So, that is called as indented key. So, both are used uh, you know uh, for classifying animals and plants. So, this is called as key and apart from uh, taxonomic key which will aid in taxonomical classification, uh, there are certain uh, you know books available. There is something called as uh, flora, there is uh, one group, uh, one uh, book called flora. So, flora will tell you about the all the species of uh, plants growing in a particular region. For example, if you look at this flora of isles in uh, so flora of uh, uh, you know found in British isles is uh, what they are talking about. So, in a particular region the, it will give an index of plants which are growing in that particular region. For example, flora of Delhi. So, it will include all the index of all the plants which are uh, include uh, which are there available in Delhi, right. So, that is called flora. So, that will give you uh, information uh, in the regional information. Apart from that, there is one more known as manuals, right. So, if you look at manuals, manuals what do they do? They will uh, describe, you know, the entire uh, the plants living in a particular area. So, they are called as manuals. For example, if you look at it, manual for uh, uh, the dicots in Southeast Asia. So, it describes all the dicots in detail, the characteristics, uh, all those things that will be explained in the manual. Right, and then there is one more called as monograph, a taxonomical aid called monograph. So, what monograph does? It ta it talks about it. Uh, it actually explains about a particular taxon in detail. Right. For example, here it is talking about only one genus. It is talking about a genus called Gara. So, it just talks about that particular genus in detail about its uh, features, its characteristics, everything in detail. So, that is called as a monograph, which talks about one particular taxon. So, these are the different uh, 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 you know, trade taxonomic aids which will help us to uh, classify organisms correctly.